What is up guys, this is Zeng and welcome for the first playthrough of Punishing Grey Raven. So what is Punishing Grey Raven if you ask me? So PGR or abbreviated as Punishing Grey Raven is an 3D action game or should I say a gacha game perhaps uh, made by Kuru Games. So what's the main story plot of this game? Well obviously these um, characters we're pretty much gonna say are pretty much robots fighting for peace and the punishing um, virus is what they call since all of the mechanoids or something like that are pretty much infected and they need to conquer the earth as their own so yeah you get the idea but I did play this like last November last year so yeah, you pretty much gonna see the level I have in there, which means I have like um, more than five characters, I think. And um, the kind of patch I'm pretty much have is what do you call this? I almost forgot. God damn it! Let me show. Let me show to you guys uh, real quick. So yeah, these are the characters we have here. But before we proceed, what are the specialities of this every constructs? So the attacker is focused on attacking with various attack and support skills like Lucia and the other characters with that kind of support. And the tank one is focused on survival, controlling the enemies and soak up damage. The support is focused on support but can repair and strike the allies. The vanguard on the other hand can focus on burst has attack skills that their deal severe burst damage but it pretty much differentiates that what kind of element they're pretty much gonna use as for example blue shower here is using a physical and a fire element i mean she have a different um frame or versions of her i mean there's a lot you guys can choose it yeah, I'm probably a free-to-play player here, so don't mind me. <laughs> so, without further ado, we're pretty much gonna go back in Chapter 1, unless in this part on, in Chapter 12. Sorry about that. Where was it? From this part on in the intro, a brief transit. We're pretty much gonna choose only one construct, otherwise this will be a little bit of cheating. Yeah, this is more like a reference to Metal Gear Revengeance. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're pretty much gonna use someone else. Yeah, the captain has been away from this Yeah, that guy kind of resembles a Raiden, of course. Well, if he sits isn't saucy jack <laughs> never mind <clears throat> but let's get into into the intro lucia L live i'm fine <laughs> never mind uh, you are not you're hurt all over lucia you just can't feel it because your sensor systems are disabled but what's with that that kind of expression uh, stay put i'll try to temporarily reinforce your damage parts I'm sorry, Lucia. I wasn't of much help that last fight. Her speed, her precision. It's a miracle I survived that long. It's a pure guesswork that I managed to deflect those few blows. I see. From what I can summarize from that battle, her blade strategy set shares great similarity to yours. <laughs>
as I ordered from Commander Zane. <laughs> yeah. Ikuso. <laughs> Never mind, so this is the first battle we pretty much gonna have. Uh, yeah. My tablet is pretty much 2 gigabytes, so yeah, it's been. Those corrupted are scavenging parts of, from constructs to augment their own bodies. The more primitive the corrupted, the more they desire power. See they don't use our com God damn it. Jesus Christ. Like I was saying, yeah, I pretty much crashed a while ago. God damn it. Oh my god. So, we're pretty much gonna demonstrate each other constructs here for you guys to understand. So, we have here is the Cerberus leader, um, Vera Rosen. If we pretty much gonna touch her up, then this is what pretty much gonna respond. But either way, she's pretty much a sadistic one. でもあなたは私の言うことを絶対に聞かなければならない。これがあなたの目の前に立つための条件。いや、ワールドバイフェイブレットワイフォース。ネバーマイ。そう、ビプレマシャンプレイワタナベイ、プリファイドクラッシュ
I mean, this is the latest one, the latest construct or the character we have here, which is Rosetta Riger. So, who is Rose, um, Rosetta? It's pretty much the first construct with a Gundam type wannabe. I mean, she's pretty much a badass in my in my opinion. She's not that weak, okay? I mean, in what do you call this? In boss fights, yeah, she's pretty much one of the hardest boss. And also a tank type, leader of the regional first guard, Rosetta has been taken in by Babylonia, designated as the special unit and redeployed onto the battlefield in a more human form. I mean, she has two forms. The other one is the centaur type. And we have here is Liv. Yeah. The B class. A member of Grey Raven as one of the newest support constructs. She is the anchor of the team. Which is a good good thing. I mean, there's a lot of characters I really want to show for you guys here. Give me a minute. Oops, sorry for the delay. So we have here is the A-Class Sophia Sil Silverfang. But actually a healer as well. External support from for Grey Raven, Sophia also functions as an envoy for the Acdelec Commercial Alliance. Born an orphan on the internal engine, now the sharpest blade of its leader, Jamila. Nice. And we have here is Nanami, which is the B class Nanami Storm. Nice. Fun loving yet mysterious and elusive, her hobby is observing humans. <laughs> oh my god. What a practical joke or to make sense. I mean, you guys will pretty much gonna love this PJR for her. Yeah. An A class Bianca, which is a sharpshooter from this part. Leader of the Purifying Force, elegant yet cold, always performing her orders to perfection. Nice all. And this is the second frame of Liv, which is the Lux version. Liv has cut her hair as a statement of her strong will to return to the battlefield. Nice, oh, what else? And we have another Arara Ara character here. <laughs> Which is Isla Brilliant. But we still don't have any S construct about her. Yeah. An archaeo archaeological team member from the World Government Association in Art in Babylonia. The new blood of Babylonia loves art with a passion. That is a good thing. And this is the S, S class of Kamui. God damn it. Uh, yeah, this is a tank type, but this one is a dark element. The result of Kamui's control over the Tenebrion that he was imbued with. This frame is able to switch freely between the two battle forms. And we have here is Lee. Which is a 60% physical and a fire of 40%. Member of Grey Raven, somewhat aloof in manner. Good at computers and machines, he is responsible for Grey Raven's hardware and technical issues. Which is a good thing. And we have two frames of Watanabe. This one kind of reminds me of Dante. Yeah, I mean, not really. Leader of the Forsaken, who choose to leave Babylon to protect Iosis with his comrades who have been forgotten by the world. And Chrome we have here. Uh, huh. The leader of the Strikehawk, capable of relying, relaying important intel through a secure and stable channel. He values in the flawless completion of missions and also the safety of all his teammates which is good I think 
And this one is Lee Entropy. And these are the characters I haven't got. Heck like, yeah. But they're pretty much good. The Lib Luminance. Okay, let me read this first. The limits have been broken, past and present intertwined. They dominate the battlefield with superior computing power. And this is the third S class of Lib, which is the Luminance version. Behind the strength of Lib's heart is a simple dream, and such purity is why this frame is so powerful. It sure does. The second frame of Nanami, which is the false version. Yeah, she's pretty much a little bit a lolly over there. Nanami's enhanced model be equipped with IR005 propulsion wheels, allowing her to speed across the battlefield at ease. Hehe, <laughs> you can only the Nanami's after images. <laughs> oh, give me a break. Okay! You pretty much know who this girl is, the assembled to as well. This is more like the fourth version of Lucia. The son, I mean this is the daughter of Virgil. A mysterious enemy encountered by Grey Raven in CT-015 at the intro, but once you're pretty much gonna play this, you're pretty much gonna encounter this girl. And there's no way for you to dodge off the, all of these attacks. Okay, this one is the second S-Class of Bianca, which is the Veritas version. An illegally modified frame born during the time when the construct tech was not mature. It can cause charge separation to produce lightning as a means of attack. Specialized in long distance sniping. And... The last one, but not foremost, but this one is one of the powerful Lucia version, the Plume. And it is only the first ice element by far, but I pretty much have, have her with me. Baby Longy developed these latest frames specifically for Lucia based on Grey Raven's experience and the data collected from Alpha. So yeah, there we have it. All of the characters right here. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much a little bit sorry if I haven't showed this guys with you all. But in the second episode, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna show this. Don't worry. So, if you're pretty much gonna like my channel and my content, please like and subscribe for more Punishing Great Raven. Uh, for part 2, that is. So, I got nothing else for me to say. To say. God damn it. So this is Ink Karu, and I'll see you guys on the second episode. Today, peace out.